Let's start with today's big news about the 2024 presidential race. Someone has stepped forward to run against Trump for the Republican nomination, and she's a lady. Breaking news this morning. Former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley is now officially running for president. She is the first Republican to challenge Trump for that nomination. She obviously served as his ambassador to the United Nations. She announced as much just in a video a few moments ago. You should know this about me. I don't put up with bullies. And when you kick back, it hurts them more if you're wearing heels. <laughs> um, 1997 called, it wants that joke back. <laughs> It just called again. It wants this joke back. <laughs> I actually thought this was a great ad, and I'm excited to buy whatever pharmaceutical product that nice lady was selling. <laughs> but this is going to be a tough race for Nikki Haley. Right now, she's polling at just 1%, and that's pretty bad. Um, I mean, you know, even Mike Pence is at 2%. <laughs> Mike Pence's noose rope is at 5%, which is VP material. <laughs> But you do get some advantages if you run against your former boss. My opponent's economic plan is terrible, and when he poops in his office, we all hear him go, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> I love political satire. It's really my lane. Whoever wins this election will be commander-in-chief of the U.S. Army, although based on how recruiting is going lately, that's going to be like... 20 people. The U.S. Army is trying to recover from its worst recruiting year in decades, and officials say those recruiting woes are the result of traditional hurdles. Young people don't want to die or get injured, they don't want to deal with the stress of Army life, and they don't want to put their lives on hold. But the recruiting obstacles don't seem to be rooted in concerns about the COVID-19 vaccine or about wokeness, as some Republicans claim. Republicans would have the freaking lips to blame the lack of army recruitment on wokeness and the number one reason that people really like not dying. <laughs> These Gen Z kids are just like, why would I go get shot in the Middle East when I can get shot in the comfort of my middle school? <laughs> I'm kidding, that doesn't happen in America. Um, how is the military woke? Help me here. Soldiers are still soldiers. They're not going to be in battle like, I don't think this is a safe space. <laughs> trigger warning, I'm going to pull my trigger. I'm... <laughs> but this drop in recruitment is coming at a really perilous time for America. If we don't have a strong military, the balloons win. <laughs> recruitment is down because there are too many pop star militias. Young people would rather be in the BTS army or the Rihanna Navy or the Phoebe Bridgers Mujahideen. <laughs> Like, why is everyone so obsessed with whether or not something is going woke? Anyway, let's move on to our next story. What are God's pronouns? Should God, should our Father stop being referred to as he? The Church of England is considering whether to break with tradition and use gender-neutral terms for the Almighty instead. Well, joining us now in the studio, Anglican priest Charlie Bell. Is our Father actually a woman? <laughs> what an interesting question. <laughs> an interesting question? I think God has bigger things on his mind than pronouns. I mean, come on, the Super Bowl just happened. You think those touchdowns score themselves? And really, like, who cares about this? There are actually people out there who really need God to be a man. God is the embodiment of all that is good and merciful and holy, and he definitely likes girls. <laughs> And he only created mountains because he's really into boobs. <laughs> it doesn't matter, God is fake. This is like debating whether uh, Bigfoot wears Reeboks. <laughs> And finally, today is Valentine's Day, the day when flowers find out which house they're going to die in. 
Seriously, why do we give people roses? They are already dying the second you cut them. You're basically giving someone a hospice patient. <laughs> Love them while you can. Just try to keep them hydrated and make sure they're as comfortable as possible. <laughs> but there is a Valentine's surprise that's even worse than roses, stealing people's money. Well, it is Valentine's Day. Law enforcement reminding you to keep an eye out for what they call romance scams. Officials say criminals will scour dating websites, dating apps, chat rooms, build a relationship with you with the goal of accessing your financial or other personal information. The FTC says romance scams cost nearly 70,000 consumers $1.3 billion last year. The FBI sees a large percentage of elderly victims. Let's talk red flags. This one might hurt, but if they're too good to be true. Gorgeous photos, perfect job, amazing lifestyle. Make a scammer's job of luring you easier. If they seem sweet, genuine, caring, talking about a future together a little more quickly than typical relationships, they could be drawing you close to take advantage of you. That's right. You got to be careful out there. If anyone literally ever says anything nice to you, call the police. <laughs> <laughs> and she said another red flag is if the person has an amazing lifestyle, a perfect job, gorgeous photos. Oh my God. Am I a scammer? <laughs> For more on these romance scams, we turn to Michael Costa. Michael, it's... <laughs> it is so sad to hear about this, especially on Valentine's Day. I know, Sarah, but every holiday is an opportunity for scams. Last President's Day, a guy on Facebook claimed he was Abraham Lincoln and asked me for money, which was clearly a scam because I had already just wired the real Abraham Lincoln $10,000. <laughs> There's only one Lincoln, buddy. How stupid do you think I am? You're very smart, Michael. But let's focus on the romantic scams because I'm especially worried about how they target the elderly. Yeah. The elderly are easy targets because they're so vulnerable and they're so horny. Honestly, <laughs> I'm scared for my own loved ones. That's why I've started catfishing my grandmother. You're catfishing your own grandmother? As a preventative measure, yes. The best way I can protect my 97-year-old grandmother from being scammed is to scam her myself. <laughs> this way she feels loved and I put all the money she sends me right back into her bank account. It's the same way I stop dogs from eating discarded chicken bones laying on the street by eating them myself. <laughs> I'm sure the dogs are grateful, but um, how does catfishing your grandmother even work? Take me through this. Oh, okay, well, it works the same as normal catfishing. You create a profile of a charming but believable person. In my case, Miguel Gustavo, international art dealer and king of Brazil. First, <laughs> you like their posts. Then you start the DMs. Hey, I like what I see. Show me what you got under that sweater you knitted for yourself. Here's what I'm packing. You send your grandma nudes? Well, not my nudes, obviously. I'm not a creep. I send her pics of guys I find online. Okay, good. Phew, I thought you exchanged nudes. No. No, I, I mean, she sends me her nudes. Oh, my God. Look, look I, I know it's gross. I, I don't like it either. I am glad she's using the yoga classes I got her for Christmas, but, but, but still. I, to see it. Just like I don't want to spend hours texting with her about how her grandson never calls or have her explain every episode of The Yellowstone. It's just Yellowstone, <laughs> Grandma. I don't have a choice, Sarah, okay? As Michael Costa, I can't keep my grandma offline, but as Miguel Gustavo, well, I can make sure her money stays where it belongs, in the bank account that I'm going to inherit one day. <laughs> in its own way this is actually a like a loving thing Michael I I hope all the men out there love their grandmas enough to seduce them thank you Sarah yeah, I really am the best grants oh, sorry I got, I got uh, my grandma's DMing me um, uh, mi amor uh, please send five thousand dollars I'm having my third kidney removed okay, well, thank you so much Michael